Hey there, guys. Welcome back to... No, 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 no. Yep. <clears throat> Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Let's play Italy. We are doing... Taking it easy. We're doing okay. Uh, were we doing much? Aside from occupying the border... Eh. I mean, I'm tempted to get this conscription update uh, well to up this conscription to service by requirement which is going to up my conscription by five percent and give me uh increased training time construction speed and factory outputs which isn't amazing but uh i don't know something i'm considering let me just go in for some of these possibly Increasing the field hospital would actually be really nice, so I think I'm going to do that. Got a fight going on over here. We're still chasing these cruisers. We can't catch the bloody things, because apparently... Yep. Southern France, we're having a fight again. Over here, we've got 300 bombers and 100 fighters. That's pretty good. I like it. How are the bombing runs going? They are not awesome. Uh, where else? So East Africa and the Middle East. So here and here we could do with some... They, they don't actually have any planes there though. That's the thing. And North Africa as well now. Again, they don't have much there. So we'll probably just leave them to it. Uh, the Soviets are making a push. I will accept their pushing at me because I'm pretty sure I can hold them, which means that we can also counterattack when they get low on men and, and other things again. Because. Oh, damn. Uh, maybe we should take out Norway. Maybe. Uh, that's the wrong one again. So, in against the Soviet Union, war is going 10% in our favor. Oh, looks like they pushed in a bit. Uh, yeah, war's going 10% in our favor. We've lost almost a million troops. Uh, Germany's lost just over a million. And the Soviet Union has lost 17.48 million. So there is that. Apparently we aren't entirely in place, and some division is not in position, but that's just like a couple of divisions. We could probably make the, the push, to be honest, I think. Hmm. Okay, uh, so, yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Put the engineer company up. Uh, again? I mean, maybe. Close air support. Maybe get the heavy fighters, because we are building some heavy fighters. Kind of makes sense to me. Okay. So, let's have a look. So, we've almost completely upgraded everyone with infantry equipment. There's a naval invasion planned for southern France again. I'm sure that will go just as well as they it has every other time. Uh, and then we've got the support equipment we have stored. We're still reinforcing with the light tanks. We've got a whole load of medium tanks, a fair load of heavy tanks. We're still upgrading the artillery and the anti-tank. We're almost done there. Fighters are reinforcing, but we're getting... Uh, oh, Blord. Blord? Yes, Blord. Oh, Lord. Uh, we're getting one heavy fighter a day. We're getting two uh, naval bombers a day. We're getting four uh, fighters a day and then three a month here, which will obviously increase, which will be nice. Right. I don't see why it's a defeat on the port strike if no one dies at all. Port strike, no one dies. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, they're pushing pretty hard.
Oh, because the Germans are buggering off again. Of course. Where are the bloody Germans going at this time? Who knows? They could be going fucking anywhere. Uh, are they going to take Kiev back? Because that would be annoying. Be nice to get this little section here. Um... Get this. So, yeah, I mean, move him down here. Uh, he's... Where's he moving? Why is he moving? Just stay there. Then you... Maybe go down here. How you doing here? So... Oh, you're against three of them? Okay. So we've got another lightning division in there. They do have air support. We have decryption, which is good. Uh, eh. I think we cancel this for now. We took a little bit of, uh, of area. Oh, damn, they're attacking us as well. Combat unit destruction. Good, 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 good. And now we've got the choice. Or Wait, do we have the choice or do we have to do all of them? Uh, tactical bomber, strategic bombing, ground support. Uh, air, let's go for the air superiority. We'll see if we need to do all of them or just one of them or, or what. Looks like we're going to be pushed back on the lightning there. Yeah. So. People moving all over the place now. Uh, should we attack? I... I mm. I feel like we let them attack for a little bit longer. Maybe get them up to 18 million casualties, which is, again, pretty bloody ridiculous. Uh, so what's being unfulfilled is the Venezuela Accord. Alright. Fine. Fine. Which is going to bump down our oil a little bit, which is a shame. We're still getting light cruisers and destroyers and uh, and submarines. We'll have to look at how the fleet's doing soon. Well, uh, we may as well check it right now. So, the actual fleet, though. Right. Oh, uh, okay. So, the actual fleet, Italy Fleet 1, has 55 submarines, only 13 destroyers, a couple of light cruisers few heavy cruisers and three battleships. Pretty good. I can't really split up a team at the moment, I don't think, though. That was a big port strike. Nothing really happened, but it was a big port strike. And we're still chasing these freaking... Yeah, okay. Awesome. Uh, they're hitting us fairly hard, but... I don't think we need to worry about it right now. Um, no problems in Africa, which is always nice. Uh, we, I still feel like we should go after Norway, but I don't really have the means to do that. Okay, so let's have a look at our construction. So we're building a whole load of military factories for quite a while. Then we've got a whole load of repairing to do. A whole load more repairing to do, and we've got some uh, synthetic refineries as well. Awesome! There we go. Uh, and then, production-wise, got some mechanized equipment. Armored personnel characters or infantry fighting vehicles for transport and combat. Distinguished from motorized, it provides a degree of protection from hostile fire. Okay. Uh, Regnier. Okay, yeah. So we've researched the. 
we researched the that. We still got. So apparently we can we can go do this in 1950. I don't think we're going to get that far, however. Um, I'm fairly okay with these for right now. We should we should maybe do like yeah the undersea blockade and a few other things. Like my 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 research into ships isn't that extensive, really, to be honest. Probably why they keep getting away from me and and everything. Let's uh, speed up a little bit, I think. Just for now, because not, not much is really happening right now. The US hasn't joined in. I'm wondering why. Yeah, they've, they've done all the stuff that should get them in the war, so... For whatever, re for whatever reason, they're just like, no, no we're, we're fine. We'll, we'll pass, thank you. No need. Uh, wait. Oh, they're attacking Kiev? Okay. Are they trying to encircle Kiev? Huh. So we're heavily outnumbered currently, but we all know why that is, don't we? It's because the Germans are being bots. Uh, like, manpower-wise, we're doing alright. Uh, let's have a look over here. So yeah, we're still reinforcing the fighters. Um, we, uh, now have a whole load of infantry equipment. Uh, so we can make more troops if we would so choose. I think, uh, I think what we should do is we should build some more troops. If we want to, before... We uh, before we up the uh, the um, the troops. Oh, that's actually faster than I intended it to be. So port strike revol results, couple of defeats, but nothing happened. Oh, um, okay. Huh. Nothing actually happened in any of those. Doesn't look like so. Never mind. Oof. Just moving people into this here because they keep attacking us. And uh, that's kind of an arse. There we go. What was that? Okay, Northern France has an invasion going on. I'm sure they'll invade and we'll either repel it or we'll surround them and destroy them. Because that's what we just keep doing. How is Russia faring? Oh yeah, it's on 80, 80, 80, 18 million now. I don't know what the hell we took from the UK. Is China still not fascist? China is still non-aligned. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm unsure. Of, I'm kind of the part of the reason why I've sped this up is I'm kind of unsure of the the general fiddly bit things I should be doing. So. Nope. Oh, well, we lost Kiev, which is going to adjust this quite a bit, yeah. But again, like, you know, I'm probably losing a lot less than them in terms of equipment and everything. Because I'm just defending, you know, and I'm producing enough that, you know, the, the downs here aren't too bad, really. They're not great, you know, they're, it, I am slowly losing people, but they're not as bad as they could be. So, growth recruitable is 5.96 thousand. Uh, total manpower is 4.88, so if we do another 5, I don't know, we might get a million, maybe? I, I, honestly, I'm not sure. Maths was never my strong point. So yeah, why have we got attrition? Attrition for reasons, okay. Great. Oh, low supply? 
Well, I mean, just sort out the supply problems, guys. Germany, basically. And we'd be fine. Uh, nothing happened, and I'm assuming we lost some... Uh, not there. How about here? Yeah, we lost convoy, because why not? Doesn't look like we're going to get Bro Romania on board, either. I don't know why I said Bromania. Yep, I guess they either got repelled or they got surrounded and destroyed fairly quickly. Uh, oh, I guess I did take some stuff. It's not really, like, UK. Yeah. No, 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 okay. Uh, so, how's the air wings doing? Well, we have... Oh, no, they've gone. Uh, Italy's fine. France is fine. English Channel, there's a flight going on, apparently. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, part of the reason I upped the speed of this, I feel, is just because pretty much I'm not sure what to do uh, at this point. You know, kind of what, what to keep, how to keep it interesting uh, for you guys watching, uh, you know, like... So now I'm kind of tr trying to maybe up the speed of Scooch for a while. Just so that we're in a position where we can attack the Soviets again or or something along those lines. Honestly, like the amount there, I don't see how they can ha still have like equipment or anything. But they do. They still have manpower, apparently. Sure, 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 sure. Why not? Now, if Germany was like, hey, let's build these roads, for example. Oh, they have. Maybe. Okay, we've got the undersea blockade. Uh, let's get... Yeah, convoy interdiction, sure. There we go. Do we want to push? We could try pushing. Wait, where's their armies? Where are their armies? Huh. Intriguing. Okay, make a push. Make that push. Let's just chill here and see, see like, because the rest of the area is pretty much locked up. We should be good for a while. And we can mostly walk into this right now, which is really interesting. Uh, oh, yeah, there's, like, vast swaths of land open to us. Oh, hell yeah, we can just walk through a lot of this. Alright, that's interesting. They did push us back a bit, to be fair. Yeah, aggressively execute these plans. Well... Okay then. Are there troops coming back? Doesn't really look like it. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe maybe a little bit. Think there are some some trickling in. Oof. Yeah, oh yeah, there they are. So they they've turned up down the bottom here. Wonder what they're crafty bollocks they were doing. Got some na naval invasion, na nasal invasions. Got some naval invasions being planned. Uh, trying to push back to Kiev again. But their troops just came back. 
So let's pause it. There you go. Jolly, jolly good. No, no. Next time I'll think properly as well about accepting a... Uh... Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, next time I'll think properly about accepting expeditionary forces. Uh, you know what, guys? Let's end this episode here for now. Um, I'll... I'll, uh, I'll have a, I'll have a proper think about, I'm, I'm under a bit of a schedule right now, but I'll have a proper think about what I want to do for the next, uh, uh for, like, this kind of, like, end part of Hearts of Iron 4, uh, Italy. So, uh, also, give me your opinions on what you think I should do, and I'll, I'll see what I can do, pretty much. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps out a lot, and of course, I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.